When are you going to have plans of your collapsible bicycle camper so I can build one too? This is a question I've been asked several times in the past year. So if you want to know more, this video is for you. Since the beginning of 2019, I've made several modifications to the camper to improve it, and now I've finished the modifications and making the drawings. So I'm happy to announce that the construction plans for the Barrio Bicycle Camper are now available. Because my self-appointed mission is to encourage as many people as possible to use their bicycles for long-distance travel, I've decided that for a limited time, I will give the plans away to those individuals who indicate an interest. Before I can justify selling the plans, I'll have to be sure that the camper has been tested by other people than myself, and that the plans actually work to help others replicate the camper that I built. The plans must be used a few times to ensure that they are complete and accurate, so that a person with basic skills can build a copy of the camper. The plans are in the form of a book of about 70 pages in the 8.5 by 11 inch format, reproduced as a PDF file, which can be printed by the user. I have no training in architecture or engineering, and I don't have access to CAD, nor do I have the expertise of how to use a computer-assisted design program. So most of my drawings are made in two dimensions, using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. In some instances, when it was necessary to reproduce a feature in three dimensions, I introduced a photograph onto a page of the book. The size of this camper has been determined by my own physical size, 5 foot 10 and 170 pounds. That translates to 178 centimeters and 78 kilograms. These are the factors that led me to make it the present length. As for the width, the deciding factor was the span of the Burley cargo trailer axle that I was using uh, for the wheels. The entire camper was therefore designed to fit between the wheels. The length of the living area of the camper is 57 inches and is lengthened to 75 inches when the foot pullout is extended. As per the present plans, the foot pullout could be made 2 inches longer with no other modifications. However, it would be possible to make it even longer by making the lateral pullout narrower than the prescribed 31 and a half inches with no other modification. The limiting factor for a larger person than me would be the width, which, can, which cannot be increased without changing the axle and recalculating the width measurements. Of course, if you make it bigger, the weight would increase. On account of Canada's proximity to the U.S. markets, dimensions of construction materials are mainly in imperial measurement. In Canada, lumber dimensions are in inches and feet except for plywood and sheeting material. In a strange quirk of reasoning, width and length of these materials are in imperial measure and thickness is in metric. In these plans, all dimensions except for the thickness of the choroplasts are in imperial measure. Apologies to my European friends who will have to contend with these antiquated measurements and make all the conversions themselves. Here's how you can go about obtaining a set of plans. Write to me at my email address below and let me know what your intentions are and that you would like a copy of the plans. I will then email you a waiver form that you will fill out and return to me. Following that, I will email you the complete PDF book, which you can reproduce on your printer. You will automatically receive updates as they become available. I will be publishing videos about the construction, so keep an eye on my channel. Thanks for your interest in my project.